Hey folks, Brian Foote here with a gear review. So this is a Ken Titmus custom KTCM uh, RT backbore. So it's his RT2832. This was custom made for me, Brian Foote. Uh, I specifically wanted him to make it raw brass, which I think is really, really cool. It's kind of a slightly brushed raw brass finish. And it pairs with a 28 top. So it starts at 28 and it tapers down to 32. If you think that's extreme, extreme ways for extreme ways. So the internal shape is based on his RT1, his normally his tightest back bore, but I wanted it to funnel even tighter. So it starts as a 28. This top is a venture top. It starts at 28 and then it funnels down to 32. And personally, this is a little more open and darker than my old setup, if you can believe that. My old setup is some crazy, shallow, custom uh, double cup that the secondary cup Vs into a 34 throat. And honestly, I love that mouthpiece. I'm not going to get rid of it. But to play second trumpet, that's a little bright, a little aggressive for second trumpet. So this back bore gives me a rich timbre and allows me to really place the note where it needs to sit within whatever chord that I'm in. As a second trumpet player, I need to place the note in the chord and I also need to make sure that I'm a little bit on the lower side of pitch compared to my lead. Often the lead needs to be a little bit high, a little bright, a little sizzly on the front end, front side of the pitch, a little high even. And as the second, you need to be either dead center or sometimes a touch low, or depending on where you are in the chord, a little high or a little low. So this backboard gives me much more control than my old setup. Uh, but enough talk. You guys want to hear how it sounds. In most of the Royal Caribbean stuff, the highest that's ever written for second, written in the part, is an E. And this back bore really slots that E really, really well. Very, very stable, very center of pitch. It's bright, but it's not too bright, especially coming from the mouthpiece that I used to play. And when you back off, it gets nice and veiled, nice and dark. It's not really designed, at least for me, this backboard is not designed for playing double G and higher. That's what I have my other mouthpiece for. And that's not really the realm of a second trumpet player. So on second trumpet, you really need to have a, a firm, wide shelf to place your notes. The shelf needs to be wide so that you can be, uh, harmonically, you can be a little higher, a little low of pitch, uh, depending on where you are in whatever chord. So you can go down to the basement. So 
and get down to a nice uh, double pedal B flat. Works just fine. So it gives a slot and it gives you a little bit of, of leeway, but the best thing is because it's kind of tight because it goes to a 32, you can use very, very controlled pitch adjustment. put that note right right where you want it and the resistance is consistent enough that even if you are playing a little out of pitch center to place the note in the chord or with your lead it the the the, the core of the sound doesn't get compromised <laughs> some some sizzle if you want <laughs> 